Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan and we are once again in Satisfactory. As we have been all month, we are working on the uh, first playthrough of 1.0. We have a pretty decent setup in the grass fields and we're theming everything off of Transformers as we have done throughout the five years that we've been playing Satisfactory or almost, I guess. The first little bit we didn't really catch on but the Transformer thing is real now. And uh, we are gonna jump in where we left off yesterday after upgrading a lot of stuff in the MAM and getting a lot of SAM, uh, strange alien matter, into our factory, we are now going to try to unlock some more tickets. But I think we're going to start today with some hard drive hunting and some exploration of the blue uh, crater because I feel like there's some extra hard drives over there. And I also feel like we could get some extra summer sloop. So we need to up the power before I can really expand. And that's going to be priority. So that's going to be the first couple of tasks. Drive around, get some uh, hard drives, and of course, uh, get into some power expansion. Sweet Sandy is here. Dan is here. Jay Chris, good to see you. Hope everyone's having a good afternoon so far. And already the bots are real. Uh, thank you, Sandy, for being awesome. Uh, I really appreciate it. Uh, we are going to switch over here. Might as well get going. Just like yesterday, uh, Twitch subs are 25% off for the month of September. And we also have a bonus sub promotion happening. So for every five gifted subs on the channel, Twitch will add in at least one, perhaps even more. Uh, so if you receive a gift sub from either someone in my community or from Twitch, uh, then make sure you uh, jump in and celebrate and chat and connect your Discord. Because if you connect your Discord and your Twitch, once you have a Twitch sub, you can join us in the Joel Duggan Discord. So uh, I was able to do a little bit of cleanup uh, and organize things here. Uh, I just basically moved what was happening in this area over there. I did that after stream yesterday. I just, it was really bugging me. I really could not design this factory with all the stuff in front of it. So we've moved that clean over there. Eventually, this factory is going to be putting out iron ingots. I think it's probably going to take a hard right here and go towards uh, what will be this space over here. Um, but right now, we've got everything going into storage. And right now, we are actually building and storing everything but staters and I think quartz. Everything else has got a, a bin somewhere, uh, depending on what it is. So uh, we're doing we're doing all right. Uh, I do need to get some more dimensional storage going on. And I think one of the things that we can do with that, thankfully I have uh, the remote storage, which is good. Uh, but we also have um, Sam, reanimated Sam that we can turn into um, points here and there. And I've got that set aside for the summer sloop. So the big thing is unlocking this. Uh, we need five more summer sloop for that at least. Uh, and that will help us along the way. So I think we'll just grab, make sure the tractor is stocked up. I don't think I'm going to need much beyond that coal. Make sure I have just a little bit of everything in my inventory in case the um, hard drives need unlocking. Um, I'll bring those just in case. I'll bring rubber. Oh, I have rubber. I'll bring more plastic in case we need it. I could probably dumb down my inventory a little bit here. I don't need all of this cable. Or wire, I should say. Where am I not storing wire here? No, it's over here now. So I was able to strip out all the stuff that was here and I just moved it over so that we have very clear um, barrels of stuff now, which is good. Um, that's probably all right. Staters, rotors, motors, cable, quick wire, ports. We should be good. Blast Jordan, great to see you. Hope you're having a good day. Cosmic is here, lurking in the shadow. Cosmic shadow is shadowy. <laughs> 
So, we need to go this way. Blue Crater. Keep your eyes peeled for Summer Sloop. Feel free to use the highlighted messages in chat to grab my attention. I noticed yesterday that I got really wrapped up in the game. <laughs> and I kind of missed a lot of chat. So I apologize for that. So, which is going to be the fastest way? Left or right, Gandalf? Left or right? Uh, show the player on the map, please. I would say we want to go straight through the arches and along the river. Straight through and down, looks like. To remember this as a landmark. I know there's water down here, and usually you just follow the water. Wow, what is that? Hold on. That's a new creature. Or new to me. What the heck is that? That's cool. I don't know whether... I mean, I'm assuming it's probably passive. This is a real pain to drive out this way. This is why I didn't want to come this way for the oil. Because it's such a pain. Right, now. Right, see to the right. At any point, do we cross the river? No, we stayed to the left. Guess I have to go up and around? Oh, here we go. Nope. I'm sort of remembering this. This is near where I first started the game years ago. And it's amazing here. It's also very uphill. You need mycelia. This is where you come, that's for sure. Just a long road. Like, there's just... You can't really see much for the foliage. Hey, look, a hard drive. That's what we're looking for. I'm all right with that. Needs 30 megawatts. That we can do. Sweet Sandy, thank you for being awesome, as always. So we're going to stay on top of this today and make sure we research stuff in the MAM as soon as we get it. So, 10 minutes on the timer, starting now. And is there anything else around here that was worth picking up? I didn't see much. Oh, circuit boards.
Paste beans, sheets, staters. Cool. Now are we close to accessing the crater? We should continue north. I know there's a bunch of nodes up here, but this is just too far away from anything we are currently doing to access this. I do, however, see something we can blow up. And this is the strength of having the dimensional depot is that you can pull this out of the dimension whenever you want, along with your explosives. But we need to make more of those. I should have brought a few more of those, I think. Can I get this? Yes. Your mimic tapestry grows in the shadows and the clouds, but not through the windows. What is your route? I have no roots, nor do I operate on windows. But perhaps you mean something akin to the human saying. My point of origin is Earth. I was created by specific individuals of the human race. Incompatible music. Did hmm. I say something wrong, or did you not understand? You cannot be shallow deep. The ripples you cast into the void have no skin. It seems I may have said something paradoxical. Interesting. It's interesting how the weird, like, creepy Ada voice sounds like or the other AI, I'm not sure what you want to call it, um, has, it refers to music as communication. It's weird. Okay, uh, do I see anything nearby? There's another hard drive up there. Which we probably can get to quite easily with some cables. Remember where I parked. <laughs> it's the only thing. Because you can't see. <laughs> I mean, the tractor will show up on the map. But you can't really see much. This will give us a good bird's eye view, too. That might be too steep. So let's build a ladder instead. Trip Media with 100 bits. Thanks very much. Super fast. Good to see you. Hope you're having a good day. Yay. More stuff. Not that we're hurting for this kind of stuff, but never hurts to pick up a few extra things. Operational, nice. I also just realized I did not mark that other that other drop pod. Um, we'll mark this one. No.
note how it did not press tab. Now, where was that other one? It was... We had to come up that way. That other one was somewhere. I don't remember where that other drop pod was. Does anybody else remember? I feel like it was here-ish. I want to say it was there. I don't find that the interactive map on Satisfactory Calculator has all the drop pods marked. I think it's a little bit uh, off. I agree with the ish-ish. Okay. So, I remember coming straight up the hill and like looking right at it. Yeah, I think that's probably where it was. I mean, if if there's anyone in that vicinity, it's not. there's not going to be another one nearby. I just want to see it again and get excited or look for it and realize I've messed things up. Now, from up here, can we see anything else that would be worth going to get? I don't think I need any more slugs right now. It's more about the number slug. There's the blue crater. So this is some sort of forest area. We've done that one. Yes. Done that one. So this is the one that maybe we were looking at that we couldn't reach. It looks like it should be something down there. Don't see any summer sloop or anything nearby. should do is grab my scanner nothing nearby where is the way down right behind us it looks like excuse me please This is a whole different kind of place. And there is definitely another way to get lower. I would say we go left. Yeah, probably. It's really cool looking in here, actually. There's lots of really fun geometric bones. It, it reminds me of Halo a little bit in terms of some of the weird structures that are kind of like underneath the ground. Very hexagonal. Not the easiest road to drive. Did I come down the right way? Yeah, okay. Oh, what's that in front of me? It may be easier to go on foot. We got some summer sloop nearby. That's good. Um... Ma'am is done. 
I think because I turned my um, factory noises down, some of my alerts are also a little bit lower. Hard drive complete. We are looking at silicon circuit board. That removes plastic. Although quartz is generally something you want to use for other things. Coke steel ingot. I won't be messing with that, but that's fine. We can just do another hard drive. Hopefully we'll find another hard drive before that one runs out. All right, I think it's worth going down here on foot. Just copper. in the summer sloop. Hear it. Oh, there it is. are starting to emerge in vocabulary, sentence structure, topics. Hmm. How fascinating to once again solve a true mystery, to be unable to create any accurate predictions. Uh, remember where you parked, or just wait till everyone else goes home and yours is the last tractor there? <laughs> Yep, everyone else. Everyone else. So I'm keeping my eyes peeled for Mercer Spheres, too. Oh, that's not nothing. Probably up there somewhere. Hello. These are giant. This is a really cool alien looking landscape. I like it a lot. When we do actually build fuel power, maybe we'll do it here. Drop pod and giant crazy spider. I'm so glad I don't have to deal with. What are you? Operational. Grab some of this stuff. Hey! Uh, oh, those are computers. I thought those were fancy quantum things. See anything else? A lot of gas, though. Hold on, get out of here. Zero. Probably up there somewhere. We're in the middle. In the middle, I would say. Right there.
I think because nighttime has come so early, I'll play through this night and then we'll take our break at the next night. I'm not going to give up a free yellow powder slug. Summer soup. Here we go. That's two. Man, this would be a real pain if we had aggressive enemies on. I think that's the edge of the map. Yep. Oh, there's a drop pod. Missed my jump. I knew this place had a lot of them. Motors. Staters are good. Good, 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 good. What is that? Gask Noblesk. Uh, not enough inventory space. Let's put plastic, Mercer Spheres, Summer Sloop away. Computers as well. This is why the remote inventory is so good. I'm glad we brought um, rubber and plastic with us. We've had um, a couple of higher tier situations where it's come in handy. I think that's all the scrap. I like these kind of weird mushroomy trees too. I knew this was like a rich hard drive area just from seeing other people play online. Uh, I would say it's probably worth it just to kind of go around the horn. Also, I need to know where the oil nodes are. I think they're over here. There's also coal nearby. So it's really good for energy because you need water. Yeah, we've got normal, 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 and normal. So I'm going to drop a big coal marker. And say 4x coal. Normal. Oh, let's make that big. And then also oil. I think it's over there. Yep. Wow. Impure. Jeez. Normal. Temp. Temp? That's strange. Normal, normal. So it's a probably three to four nodes. Or four to five.
The edge is definitely scary. Yeah, I'm not a big fan. Plus, if you lose your inventory, you're going to have to have a place to go get your your stuff. So if you don't have a crate, then you can't get your stuff back. Not enough space. That's fine. There's another drop pot up there. I can make that in one go. I can make that though. Almost. Yeah, there's the oil here. the same stuff. Mm. What else can I put up there? I guess I don't need those right now. Anything that's kind of like small stacks that's bleeding over. Got that, and grab the other stuff. We need motors to unlock trains. Hopefully all this marking isn't too monotonous for people, but we're making seriously good um, hard drive progress. And you never know, people might pick up tips on how to organize their own world. Uh, did you take the hard drive from the wreck? I think I did. Yep. I should have two in my inventory. Three in my inventory. And then there's one that's currently in the mail. Oh, it's done. Pure Caterium ingot, that's good to have. And... Alternate heavy flexible frame. That's one alt to the frame, but I don't like it because it still uses screws. Something I realized when I was doing my planning for the next um, phases of this build is um, we actually have um, a way to build without screws. Like we don't have to do screws at all. Uh, I think computers are maybe the only thing that needs screws right now, and we may unlock a recipe for that. Which reminds me that I might want to wait for these hard drives to see if I can unlock new capabilities. I think we've got manufacturing, so we should be opening up more, more options now. Uh, so I'm just going to continue uh, counterclockwise here. I should switch. Where are you now? Down below, maybe? Or up high, do we think? Probably up high. Was it that Sandy said, look at the most pain in the butt place to get to, and that's probably where it is? I heard something. There's a Mercer Sphere. Oops, missed. Where the gas is, is more than likely where the summer slip is.
That's a slug. Look at these weird mutant dandelions up here too. I will take this. The effigy only sings when you compose. I was not built to use organic components for communication. I am adjusting. The effigies make a flow. You are not the current. I am not sure what you mean. I do run on a current. I am a digital construct. Hmm. So now they're like talking to one another. This didn't blow up. They didn't break apart. Don't know if I can get up there easily. Gotcha. Aha. Much different environment here. And I would say the summer soup is probably up there. Nope, up there. Am I not going to be able to make this? Oh. You're being mean. Oh no, I got it. Okay. Aha! Over there, a slug. Uranium? Here another one? I guess there's another one. Where was that Mercer sphere? There it is over there. So we got uh how many of these do we have now? Four, three. I've got four Mercer spheres. About to have five. This is gonna be good because we need to start sending all of our stuff into storage. That animation in particular is very reminiscent of Borderlands, specifically Borderlands 3. Says there's another one over here. Ah, cave, perhaps. Yes. Easy. Well, easy because passive creatures. I 
I wish you could hotkey that. Like you can't like control click. You gotta drag them over. It'd be nice if you could hotkey it. That brings us up to. Oh, it's Summer Sloop. I could be calling it Summer Sloop. I didn't realize that. We need one more. That's not bad. I am very happy with that. This was definitely worth the first hour of stream coming in here and just looking around. Is this another hard drive? Yeah. Lots of computers now. Yeah, circuit boards. Three hundred megawatts. Wow. Um, that's ten biomass converters. And I build ten. I can. And I will. Now, uh, I have to divide this into 10, so I'm going to have to put some of this stuff away. Put those away. They don't have to run evenly, they just have to run for enough long enough for me to fill it up. Six. Six. I turned it off on purpose. Six. This is where I be in this late in the game before you explore is, is good because it gives you the option to brute force some of this stuff. Oh, that's the wrong one. Eight and six. That's that's a rough go. Take it though. Take the win. Uh, the ma'am is done. Fused crystal. Oh, interesting. Coal. That's a new, I think that's a new recipe. That could be fun. That could be fun. Canada Raz, hello, hello. Good work, but I will for sure watch the VOD later. Thanks very much. I really appreciate the lurk. And uh, yeah, that's a good reminder for, for folks. Uh, we do have all the VODs archived on Joel Duggan VODs on YouTube. So if you like what you see, or if you feel like you've missed something, you can always pop over there and catch up. Plus, you can fast forward through breaks and all that good stuff too. did it. I finally did it. <laughs> uh, stupid.
Um, drop mods. Do we have all five? We don't. We have four, right? Oh yeah. I really want to get one more. Came all this way. You would think there would be one on that little island or something, right? Maybe there's some in the forest on the way back. The problem is I can't use this when I'm in the tractor. really design this to make it look like they're supposed to be hiding stuff. Where are you? Aha! Look through the window and we miss a thread. Are you a temple? If I had a body, it would be a temple. You hmm? have no body? Hmm. I don't think Ooh. we're on the same line here. You see lines where there are curves, shallows where there are depths, consume our blood. I will continue gathering data, I suppose. Oh. Up this way? Probably up there. You look like you could explode. Once you know what to look for. Ah, uh, it's a Mercer Sphere. I mean, we need these two. I feel like um, Egon from Ghostbusters. Walked around with a EKG meter. I need to watch Ghostbusters again. It's a good Halloween movie to watch. It's a good fun classic. This way. Is that another drop pod or did I get that one? No, oh, it's another drop pod. Oh, that's gonna be tough. Say up there. I was right. How do we get up? Right here, it looks like. Yes. Excellent. So that's the five summer sloop for the power augmenter, which means that we don't have to spend a long time. Um, Increasing our power today, that's good. I'm generally curious what might be... Drop pod was like over there. I don't know if I can make this. I'm not gonna make that. Or 
heard something. I thought it was a summer sloop for a second, but it's a slug. I don't know that I've ever spent much time up through here. I'll take the free computer, though. Where, where, where? More stuff. Free circuit boards are also good. Where's the rest of it? Oh, no. So glad we unlocked this. A little tricky. Uh, Skunk Puncher, hello, welcome back. How you been? Critters, uh, they do. Uh, there's a new setting in... I don't remember whether it was this update or whether it was update 8. I think it was update 8 where you can set the critters to either be passive or to retaliate. So we've got them set on retaliate. So they're not going to attack me unless I attack them. So if I need to kill them for their parts for research, then they get mad at me and as one would expect uh, that they should. Um, but I just, I, it's not my favorite part of the game. So I prefer, I prefer this. Uh, building and exploration are fine by me. Because uh, I, I really don't like the spiders. They're just, they're not fun to fight. I almost hit tab. Do, 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 do. And gray. All right. That's the last one. I think the ma'am said it was finished. Our tractor is like over there somewhere. Gentle bursts are definitely the way to get the most out of your jetpack if you don't have a parachute. Spiders are turds to deal with? Yeah, that's putting it lightly. There's the copper. Tractor should be just over this ridge. And this biome is just crawling with them. There we go. All right, time to head back. I think that was well worth it. Get another few hard drives to research. Uh, no, I don't have the buggy yet. We've only just unlocked the trucks. I can't remember what... The, I, I have access to the buggy and the ma'am. I just haven't really bothered. I also... I find the buggy is really hard to drive. All right, now can I remember a path through here? Uh, we go left and then down the big hill. Or we might be able to stay on top. No, if we stay on top, I don't think we can get down. So we've got to go... This way. Unless you're referring to satisfactory being a little bit buggy, in which case, yes. There's still a few few kinks they're trying to work out.
And then we just need to find the river. It's too bad that this place is so hard to build in because it's really cool. But it would be so hard to build any kind of like tractor throughput or train line. Oh, is this the quartz? This is the quartz. Normal quartz. Do I have... Hey, here's a great question. Do I have portable miners? Not in my inventory, you say, but I do in here somewhere. There they go. So this is one of several nearby. Normal node. Four quarts. They are not close to each other, are they? Pure node. Okay. Glad we at least looked for them. Another one there, impure and normal. It says four? Hmm. Where, I guess it's up here, maybe? Oh, there it is, there. There's the impure. And one more time. And that's the normal one. I think the other ones might actually be easier to deal with. There's three around that four, so maybe it could have been just a typo on my part then. Uh oh. Guess we can put the miners back in the void. Go. I want to be this side. Hmm. 
Ooh, I heard something. Is that a slug? Slug. Uh, I can probably put those away. Again, having the dimensional storage unlocked for when you're exploring is absolutely fantastic. Because a lot of what you're picking up when you're exploring are just like simple one-off items. Not a whole stack. So the the few seconds it takes to upload, not a big deal. And we are out of the mess, thank goodness. I mean, it's a pretty mess, but it's... Where is the sphere? No idea. No idea. Where's my sense of direction? Also unclear. Yeah, I always come out the wrong way. Doing pretty good for daylight, too. Need more purple text to highlight uh, what Dan just said. Camera's frozen again? Oh, thanks. Sorry about that. Um, I don't know what that is. The camera seems to be doing something fine. I'm going to just check to see if the camera's actually seeing me on the back. Yeah, so the camera is not frozen. It's OBS. So... Previously, all I ever had to do was just switch the cam link to the another source and then back to cam link, and it seems to work just fine. So there's something about OBS where it freezes, and I don't know why. And that's unfortunate because I don't... I mean, it's a really tiny thing. It's about the size of a postage stamp in my monitor, so like I can't... I don't notice it right away when it freezes. So I really appreciate people in chat using uh, the um, highlighted text. Though... Generally, longer messages get seen. Uh, but thanks, Dan. Thanks, Sandy. Appreciate it. Right. So we don't need anything from there. I can put a whole bunch of goodies away. Uh, we've got computers, circuit boards, keep a couple of those. I've got lots of staters I don't need. I'll just keep some of them. Rubber. Quartz was... One of these. A little extra quartz. Odds. Plates are probably full, yeah. Uh, rotors. Motors? We've got lots of motors now. I wonder, we should maybe start our march towards 250. I'm not, I don't, I'm not making those anywhere other than just manually. Got several of these now. Now we've got 50 of those and 10 computers, and we should now be able to be building the power augmenter. 
I need 300 of those. Five summer sloop that's in here. Summer sloop. I guess the other ones are in here. Sweet. I think we should put it up here. And I remember yesterday it was a perfect 3x3. Three three. So what I think we're going to do is I'm going to remove this. And I'm going to go up here and we're going to make this a 3x3. Three We're on the right grid. Oh, nope. We were on the grid before. Thought I checked. goes over the edge. Maybe we will set it off grid. Yeah, so maybe we'll go here. it back into their half foundation. I'm okay with it being its own its own thing. Yeah, so we'll grab this. Probably about as good as we're gonna get. Could nudge it a little bit more this way. Uh, you need like a command mod only that makes a sound when it's run. Something like "oi." Actually, no, that's not a bad idea. I've, we've talked about that before, I think. that looks like we've used the rock substantially. I guess we could maybe go back that way a touch. It's 
first time I've really taken the time to try to center something in this playthrough. It does kind of go over that way. There's no real, I guess, little increment. Let's go with that. Decision made. Just go another two higher. You might need to switch from Nightbot to do that, though. That's the only thing I think, anyway, context command with sound. I might be able to just like grab one other bot that'll do it. I don't know if I'll have to switch completely from Nightbot. I might be able just to do... I think people have more than one bot running in their chat, right? All right, I feel like that's substantial. Let's look at this. And I guess we want the front facing this way for now. Just sort of hangs over the edge. Cool. It's going to be fun to watch being built. Very cool. So what this is going to do is add 500 megawatts of power to our already, I mean, our, our it's almost going to add 50%. We're at 900 megawatts. It's going to add 500 megawatts and then add 10%. So we should get 590 out of this, I think. Oh yeah, I'm totally going to put pillars up there, um, kind of 100%. 100%. I think we're also going to add um, some walls. I'm also going to not get run over by the truck. Do... I want to do that from above or I could just do concrete pillars I think that's good for now I think that corner is good this other corner is a little bit off and then this corner too I kind of like the fact that the vines are growing over it a little bit. Cool. I really wish that these walls didn't have that weird chamfer at the corner. I wish they kind of would like smart connect and not have that little empty spot. However, we do have beams now. I feel like we should go with darker color though. I kind of 
want to go with like a silver. We don't have the chrome thing unlocked yet, but we will soon. Um, You know what? I think I like the black better. Kind of covers up these weird little mismatches on the corner. I like that it goes into the rock too. It's kind of fun. We'll give ourselves a ladder to go up, and maybe we'll put that over on this side here. I imagine I will move this at some point to somewhere else, but for now, this will be a kind of a fun spot for it. And we also need to have the power, which is in the front there. Let's pull the power from over here, though. And yeah, maybe we'll So, uh, power network currently is at 900. I kind of want to get up a little bit higher for a vantage point so I can see what this might look like. I feel like it's going to do an animation. That's going through the thing. Unfortunately, my factory sounds are low. Is that it? It's just kind of cycling? Thought I had a bigger animation than that. There's the jump. So there's, we're now at 1540. How come we only go to 1540? It'd be a 10% bump. Is it 10% or 5%? Power boost 140 megawatts. Why would it do 140? Fifteen percent? That doesn't make any sense. I thought it was going to be ninety. I mean, I'll take the extra. So our net capacity is at fifteen forty. I thought it was going to be fifteen ninety. To the wiki, I guess. Yeah, I know there's a complicated. Um, algorithm. I know that the 500 it adds is not part of what it augments. Like it augments what you had before you added the 500. But that means that we can do all the expansion that I want to now. Um, and it looks really cool. Like when we were up here in the smelter area, 
I think having that up there looks pretty cool. I mean, the, the base is real basic. I could make that look a lot nicer, but... 900 plus 1400 and 10% on that. So it does include the 500 then. That's right, because 900 plus 500 is 1400. And then we get the... Four okay, I thought the 500 was excluded from the 10%. Well, that makes sense, Sandy. I think you're right. Uh, I am going to jump in for a break, though, folks. Uh, and I don't know where we're going to stand. This seems probably dangerous. There's really not a lot. I guess we can watch we can watch that stuff happen. Um, yeah, I'm a little over an hour and 20 now to get a break. So uh, I'm going to go do that. If you're new to the channel, I take a break once an hour. It gives me a chance to grab another cup of coffee. It uh, gives you a chance to grab a friend or a snack, grab, get a stretch in, whatever. Um, again, Sandy, thank you so much for the moderation. Uh, it's good to see everybody, of course, today. Canada Raz and some new folks in, in the chat. Uh, I'll be back in about five or seven minutes.
Okay, let's see what is next on the agenda. I want to make some quartz. I'm going to ogle at that for a second. So cool. Uh, we are going to grab some quartz from one of these and turn this into quartz crystal. And what I need to do is actually have this. I guess it doesn't really matter. It would be nice if we could have a merger here. Everything will just go into the bin. This needs to work on motors. So I need a full stack of stators. We're not automating motors. That's going to be our next... The, the main mission for the first factory is going to be automation of motors. Uh, I think at 10 per minute. So it's a pretty sizable thing. But we need motors for fuel and trains and everything else. So if I do another two stacks, that should give us 200 motors. Plus we already have 50. So that'll take care of the next stage. So we're almost there. We found quite a few staters. I didn't realize when I was picking those staters up when we were looking at the crash sites just how many there were. And we got a couple stacks, I think. And I'll do that. And I think there's already 50 in here. Yes. Sweet. All right, next thing, Sam, uh, doop, doop. grab that. Uh, we need to set up a manufacturer somewhere. Don't have a lot of room to do that. I guess I could move this. So I want to get some of these going too. Those will get some tickets going. And I think... Yeah. Should have maybe put that the other way. That's fine. We'll do the manual bit. Uh, what I will do, though, is tweak this with... Uh, power shards. Now that we're not going to really ruin our power consumption by tweaking stuff like that, it would be good. And I'll move this. You are just not going to let me place this wherever I want, are you? Maybe you'll go in the corner. Seriously? Way over there? See, now this is the thing that I don't understand. How is that encroaching on the awesome sink, right? Like that, that's a... Uh... Yeah, that's a... I hope they fix that. Because that's annoying. For anybody that's going to be doing some creative stuff with trying to make different um, layouts and different overlaps. Uh, what does it do? Uh, so it gives 500 power and then 10% on top of that, but it costs 10 Summer Sloop to build. Uh, 
that in there. And more of those in there. Research and research. Steamed copper sheet, also good. Quick wire stator, not the best. So we will. Uh, I guess I should check to see where I am as far as manufacturing before I start doing more hard drives. We're not going to unlock anything new from production. Uh. Although, it might be good to unlock. Hmm. I think I'm okay to have that. I could unlock that, I think. 400, 1,000, and 200. And then, I don't need plastic for the next milestone. This is the one we're working on. I think I could unlock fuel pack. I think I could do this now if I have enough plastic. I don't have enough plastic. Not quite. Okay. Never mind. That's fine. Monorail is the way to go, I think. And that's going to be done pretty quickly. Don't think we have 500 encased beams, though. No. So I should make those two. Uh, we do have the thousand pipe and the thousand... Beams though. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I love that you can hear that. I wish it was. Um, I had to turn my factory noises down because the construction noises was really loud. All right, so it's just 250 and 500. That's not bad. really tempted to put some um, reanimated Sam like one of these manufacturers over there but then we have to put pipes in there too and just so I'm not putting all of this in there 100 and 100 or 100 I think I'd rather have the tickets Right now. We're up to five. Do I want to do signs? You forgot to turn the chance of volume down in your playthrough cosmic and it made you jump? Yeah. I think we're going to use the chrome paint finish. So I think I might grab that. I think that'll help us with our work. I don't think there's any shapes that I'm currently missing outside of the tilted walls. That would be good. You know, I should mention, I do have, um, I've got the thumb of, uh, the thumbnail of, um, Ironhide up there, but we do, I didn't, I make a board so you can all see kind of like the, the go, the go to design language I'm looking for. 
So I want the chrome is definitely something I need to get. And definitely some different shaped lights, I think. I really wish my my smelters would light up. I also like the hexagon pattern, so we maybe want to do the windows as well. Those are six, unfortunately. All right, we'll go with the chrome. We don't have any of these yet. I'm curious what this looks like. The sun. Did that not work? Oh, I didn't have my tickets on me. Decoration and organization go hand in hand. Fix it HQ custodian, I always say. Use of these customizer features does not guarantee an aesthetically pleasing or user-friendly factory. That's the part that requires knowledge and skill. Now that looks very Transformer-like, especially if we start to do things like this with walls. We want to have like a stripe on it or can I have it stick out. That's cool. These look really good actually on pipes. How cool is that? I really like, really like that. So I think some of what we were working on over here could look really cool if we had the chrome finish on it, because I think you can do it to a lot of different stuff. Don't, maybe that already had the chrome finish, but yeah, you can do it to walls. I think some of it already had chrome. Uh, machines can look pretty cool too. Very shiny. So the next thing I guess is to uh, work on, what do we got? We've got this going. This is gonna be tedious to keep up. So what I really wanna do is figure out the height of the exit. I kind of like that. Uh, I don't think it's, I think it might turn left. I think I might want to, or turn right. I think I might want to turn it right over here. So maybe the next thing is to get our um, coal sorted. So I need to remove the tractor and put a temporary line. We just have to have coal coming into this line right here. So, if I start something here, and if I can squeeze this underneath here, I 
and then I can just run coal from down there and that's probably going to be the easiest thing to do. We can eliminate the tractor and then I can start to plan this factory. So uh, let's bring this out, I guess. Oh, that's too high. Whoops. And that's facing the wrong way. Jeez. I guess we'll just do it here. This is one twenty. There won't be any entry, any interruption because this is pretty full as it is. Did not go straight the way that I thought it would. Yeah, you can't um, upgrade the belts when you're standing on them anymore. You have to jump. You used to be able to just run right along and click on them even though you were walking on them. I didn't realize the tractor took such a wide turn. Two there. Place that. Now this is unfortunately full, so we'll have to do something with that eventually. 
And whenever Bumblebee comes back, we will decommission the truck. Tractor. Looking forward to the new and improved Minecraft Live tomorrow? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I should mention that, actually. Um, we are um, covering Minecraft Live at 2 o'clock my time. So it is currently 2.49 right now. So tomorrow at 2 p.m., uh, UTC minus four hours, we'll be um, covering Minecraft Live on twitch.tv slash pixel riffs. That'll be the Spun Chunks coverage of Minecraft Live. There you are, tractor. I'll leave you over here in case we need you. put up a temporary awesome sink just to be able to uh, empty this out. Might as well get some points for it. Now our coal is just coming in directly, and we can go ahead and um, have to leave the power on. But we'll leave that all set up. So what I want to do over here now is figure out where we're going to build as far as this biome is concerned. I feel like I'm gonna go maybe to there. We have some room to expand over this way a little bit. If I need to, we can do something out that way. We do have these rocks to worry about. maybe here they're not in alphabetical order which is weird the things in your in your um, dimensional depot want to be able to build above that rock we've got a decent amount of space I do want to leave some area open So if I build up high enough, we should be able to get over that rock. That is maybe a little close to that rock though. So maybe we'll cut back in here. that and sixteen and 
Maybe we'll go for 15 and uh, give ourselves just a little bit more room here. So what's going to happen is the steel is going to be produced down at this end. So that's where the coal's coming in. And we could have like little offshoots here. It doesn't have to be perfect square. How much did I leave here? Two, three, four maybe? One, two, three, four. So we could have like some parts of it that stick out, make it a little bit more interesting. And then down here is where I think we may actually just do a separate building and then have the have some stuff go in between. I think that would be good. I think this would be good to be able to drive in between to get to get between here. I might have even come a little bit too close here. We might want to dial that back a little bit. But I feel like driving through here would be good. So maybe what we'll do is we'll do the coal. And... I mean, honestly, we could just kind of bridge the coal over top of this. And that's all we'll need to do. And the more I look at this, I think I'm going to take this back by one. Health and safety is not my strong point. Well, not in this game. So we will have to go a little bit higher because of the, um, the rock. My guess is a two foundation will do it. Feel like we're gonna want to go with two just in case. Yeah. That's sizable. Plus, we can go up floors. So I feel like that's a really good chunk. We might even want to push it a little bit farther down this way. I didn't go too much farther because um, I wasn't sure what was happening here. But like all of this should be gone. So we could use this as an input end. So I haven't decided if I want to have the iron that's coming out of Ironhide come right through here. Um, I do kind of like this long output. So I think it would be kind of fun to have it come out here and go around the corner and then come into the factory kind of like in, in this area like right through here I think I think that's pretty good 
starting to get a feel for what I want to do in the area, which is nice. Hard drive should be done by now. I didn't see it. Did I not do a new one? I didn't do a new one. Whoops. All right. Let's see if I can start to figure out what's going to happen here. I feel like I should start from the inside and work my way out. And I feel like I like this width. I also like the idea of there being windows here. So that'll probably be two meters of windows. Or two, um, eight meters of windows. I still have not figured out why my stuff is not um, glowing. It's really disappointing. And can we do this with the... Oh, we can chrome the floor. That's fun. What do like regular foundations look like if you chrome those? It's a curiosity. I find these so boring because we've been playing with them for so long. What about... Wow. That's a... Uh, that's a choice. That actually looks a lot better than, than this, right? It looks more like what you'd expect it to be. The new metal finishes are really cool. I, but I think we're going to be using them more... more for highlights. So for the inside, I kind of wonder if I can unlock um, the um, asphalt. That, or I think I might have mentioned one thing I was considering doing was um, using the architecture bits. I kind of like the chrome foundation, but it's a little busy. I could also do half and half. Doesn't look so great though. That's actually not terrible. So if that's gonna be windows, I feel like this is probably gonna be beefier. It's actually probably in the wrong spot. Big metal pillar. Now is there a difference between the metal pillar and the concrete pillar with a chrome finish? Probably not. 
other than the metal pillar costs you plates and that just costs you concrete so there is some detail difference and there is some texture difference too oh we can maybe yeah i kind of i can't do this to yeah so that doesn't work on the existing metal the metal is its own thing they still you can't change that Hmm. I bring up Devastator, or not Devastator. He's got those rivets a lot on him. Kind of like the idea. I wonder if we could do maybe the bottom parts. This is going to be a window, actually. But maybe the top part here is metal. don't know if I like that. I think I might want it to be the same the whole way up. I do like that. Uh, I think it'll need some heavier footing at the bottom, so we might want to do something down here with angles. And I do have access to these now In some cases, we wait. We may want to go with the old, uh, the old finish. Now, if I um, pick block this, is it going to remember the chrome finish on it? No, it's fine. I guess at that point we really don't need those. This is where I would want some of those angled walls. tricky part is that we don't have anything to connect it with the back. When you leave yourself gaps like that, it becomes really tricky to figure that out. Um, we could use a wall. That only covers part of it. Still, that might work. I will need the angled bits though, and it's probably gonna look better if it was concrete textures. For this, it might be better to actually go with a smaller Height because then you can snap to the so 
sort of. That's not terrible. Although for down here, we might as well just grab one of these. Unless the pillars are really where it's at. Use the concrete pillar instead. play with that a little bit. I don't want to repeat that too too much. Like it would be cool to have it all along here, but if it's a too much of a repetitive thing. Whoops. So if that's going to go there, it's probably going to repeat again here. Unless that's going to be too close to that. And that's just at this level. set this to default for oh I can concrete foundations no so it doesn't work then pipes code of concrete foundation code of walls So it only does the foundations. You can't set it to automatically do it for that. Okay. That's fine. Uh, concrete foundations. Concrete wall. I wonder if it's... I wonder if these are part of the walls. Yeah. Okay, they're part of the wall situation then. That's fine. That might be too close to what I wanted to do over here. Uh, but I feel like, yeah, we might have to go with whatever red structure I was hoping to do. On the edge there, yeah, that might look better. I think it might be cooler to have something like this. If I can get it to align right. Sort of looks like a barn, which is not what I wanted. And I may be better off putting that on a half foundation instead.
Tools on Twitch Mobile suck. Yes, they do. And thank you, Cosmic, for the help. Appreciate it. Um, yeah, there's been some issues with bots coming in and asking for follows and all kinds of stuff. Need to check in on this. I'm sure it's done. Need more pipes. Let's put in a bin for each of these. It's the wrong thing. as I'm doing this inefficiently. Should be able to do a third. That's not going to be very convenient, though. Let's do it down here. One hundred and fifty per minute and twenty five per minute. So we're semi-automated, I guess. I just have to remember to bring these over through the dimensions. This should at least get us up. All sinks final. No free refunds or exchanges. Was that always there? I don't know if that was always there. Okay, that should help. Every now and again, this makes a nice big bass kind of wow. It's pretty cool. I need to be able to look at the other side of this. Actually, now that I look at it, we can probably get this to flow a lot better too.
only thing in here is going to be iron ingots. And this is going to be overflow. There we go. What have I got going on here? This is just a regular splitter. Shadows are going. Time for break. Yes. Very close to it. We will just make sure that we have more of that going on. That seems to be the real bottleneck, huh? They just get eaten up immediately, right? And six at a time. I think we've sort of made some some progress. I'm not keen on this. I do want to do a little bit of work with the sun on this side of the building so we can kind of see what we're doing. So that's going to be a window. And I'd like to... I like kind of his shoulder vents are kind of a cool shape. And they're square at the bottom with a triangle at the base. And I also like his shoulders, but I'm not sure how we'd ever incorporate those. The shoulders on the bottom left image, I think, are really cool. I feel like we can get some of that shape, but it's it's at the scale we're working at, I don't know. We could also try to do sort of like a trapezoid design. Behind here, anything that's just the subfloor. Hmm. If we did that, could I then attach this to the edge? I can. Oh, it can't be nudged. That's annoying. So it only attaches to the middle. to fill that gap with something. Although that's pretty good. We just have to figure out how to connect it to the bottom. Maybe if I brought that up higher and it was connecting to the pillar. Now that it just gets kind of big. All right, definitely losing the light here. So we're going to pop up, take another short break. I feel like I want to have this like next to us on the break. So people stopping by stream are like, what is going on?
Charles, hello. Sorry, careless. Wow, that's a that's a misread. Apologies. Yeah, let's do that. Kind of bright and shiny at nighttime. Stand here. Cool. Uh, I'm going to take a short break, folks. I'll be back in five or seven minutes. Just want to grab another cup of coffee and quick stretch. You should too. Grab a friend. Let them know that we're streaming. I will be right back.
All right. I think we need to figure out what our next tickets are going to be. We are once again low on Sam Moore. I keep on calling it Sam Moore, the reanimated Sam. I wonder if there's a better way to get that over here. Three tickets. And I moved the awesome shop. Foundations. Nothing I need right now. I think I need angled walls and windows. And then... Those would be cool. Where are the f uh, glass foundations? Ah, yeah, there we go. Um, customizer. Yeah, we don't have roof bits either. Ah, uh, glass roof. The five for the glass roof. And what's this? What's the um, asphalt is for? That might be next. It's that or windows. Oh, well, there's our four. Let's go that. So I really want to focus on the inside. Shopping is an essential human experience, enriching both the economy and human lives since the invention of society. Congratulations, you live in a society. Hmm. I feel like this is probably going to be the way to go. dark stairs. Yeah, I think I'm more of a fan of the asphalt. And we'll do that under the machines as well, I think. And the easiest way to do that is going to be to go underneath, I think. Yeah, definitely. Looks more like a finished idea. I think that's getting deleted, so leave that. Yeah. I think that's looking better. So really, it's about getting the roof shape correct, I think. And getting some um, signs. We'll try to get some court signs. I think the only ones I have right now are the billboard signs or poster signs. 
square display portrait. Yeah, so that's kind of big. I want a nice narrow one. The idea was these are supposed to be glowing. There's supposed to be a texture there. And I wanted to put a red light right there, which I could have done in the blueprint, but I didn't. Uh, and you can't see these at all either. So you can make these glow. Total Eclipse did it. I'm going to copy them because I want to. <laughs> and I think that would be really cool. We could also try and uh, hide some of this on the end for like a corridor. I don't want to do that. Where is that? That's... be better off to go from up here. It's weird that they don't let you snap along it. It's like we're always right in the middle. You can't like go up and down. do that on foundations though. So that kind of comes out there and then we could have those Too bad I can't get right up against that. Or could I? Maybe I could just do the whole thing. Although it's kind of cool to see the, the parts moving. Doesn't quite cover the... the, the node. Hmm. And I'm doing well, thanks very much, Careless. The peng that penguin dude, hello, happy Friday to you. Oh, probably a hard drive is done. Not been paying attention. Ah, alternate heavy oil residue. That is a good one. That's a really good one. Diluted package fuel, also good. Excellent. There is something to do with a hard drive in here. Sulfur. Yeah, compacted coal requires a hard drive. Don't think we're quite there yet now that we have the power augmenter. Not too worried about it. We're at 150 motors. We still cranking away on that. Oh, it cuts it in half. That's why. The last of our staters.
That'll get us most of the way there. I don't have the signs. I'm trying to think about what else I could do up in here. I kind of like the idea of the black in between, but then this chrome part on the outside. So I could cover it up. I don't know if I like that though. Yeah, I think I'd rather see it. Especially because it's doing some cool shaking. And then you could have maybe the walls somewhere. Now that sticks through. Does that show up? That's annoying. Do beams, maybe? like it needs to have more coverage somehow it might be good to do like a window when we get them that might be the cool thing in there if the window doesn't like peek out that can't be nudged so how do I connect it to I've seen it happen. Maybe, maybe we have to use the metal ones. No, that's just doing the same thing. I have seen Total Eclipse do this, where he can get them to go flush with the top of each other, but I don't know how. I guess we could use a foundation. This would be there. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. I think that lines up. Of course, it's not going to let me do it on that, though.
Did I do that? The right spot? Ah, that's out farther. That's right. I think it has to be in order for it to line up right. I'm not crazy about the beams, but I like the overall look. And then we can take this down. Now, hopefully this will line up. Often used to ask uh, when you were working on the Devastator save what you would change if you were to start again. Sorry, folks. That should not be... That's my, um, my computer ringing. Just give me one second to make sure that it's not an emergency. They will call back if it's important. There's never very often I get a, a call midstream, so. Uh, I guess this would just be a continuous beam the whole way. But I'll have to do that thing with the foundation in order to line it up. That's the middle. cover over the smokestacks. I don't think I do. Yeah. Never mind. So maybe we won't do that there. Maybe this will be on the inside. Hmm. I kind of like the look of that too. I don't think I want to cover that up. Hard drive ready? That's really subtle. It's no wonder I miss it. Crystal computer um, uses quartz. Fused quick wire. Not the best. I think we have one more. Yeah, why not? Oh, while we're down there, I should have put more salmon. I love that we've got concrete just like forever in our online depot. Uh, they did introduce some new recipes, yeah. And some new alternate ones as well, yeah. So I think I need to decide on a ceiling height, even though I don't have any windows. A 
and that's not bad. It's not very pointy. But I think we maybe make this a little bit wider. One of those things where you end up redoing it a couple times because it is so fast to delete in Satisfactory. Uh, but these are the cheap, the cheap materials to work from. I guess I could be building out of asphalt too. At least it would be an asphalt roof. Customizer. There we go. I'm surprised the um, the chrome finishes and stuff are not in the materials, but I guess they're a finish. They're not an actual material. Oh, don't worry about Cosmic. I mean, people that have been playing this game for five years have questions because they've changed a lot, right? This is probably the tallest smelting building I've ever made. It's such a simple build. Now, do we want that to be lower? If I was thinking about this in terms of sections of four... The alternate level would be here. I would be okay with that if we had some depth to it. I don't have the upside down triangles yet for foundations, the roof slants. I feel like that's a little bit more interesting. Uh, and then that would give us some room over top to go a little bit higher if we need to. And the roof doesn't have to be all the same level either. I'm thinking then we could angle these so that they come up over the top, which could be really fun. So if I wanted that to connect there. I feel like these should be in farther. What I like so much about these foundations and I think the coated concrete, no coated concrete has got the same thing, um, is that there's no, there's no difference between a half and a full, like they, they really do feel seamless which I like. How did I do this at the other end? 
They are right at the edge of the half. No. They're on the full size. I feel like we need the half foundation there for um, some depth. If I wanted that to go to the bottom of that, how would I angle that? It's so hard to see. Where is this? This is right in the middle. So I can see the seam. I guess it's a matter of estimating. So that's close, but not quite. I feel like it's just a little bit high. So we'll try one tick lower. Definitely the wrong angle there. What I'm thinking of is having this kind of go up and then down the roof. Although that might be kind of high. Maybe I don't want to go quite so high on it. Maybe we want to be more in the middle. And if we were more in the middle, that might make it easier for me to line up as well. I feel like there's a trick to do to doing this I'm just not getting. That's pretty close. That's not. But So it's a matter of making the beam longer somehow. We're overlapping them somewhere in the middle. Got Metroplex flashbacks with all this red. Yeah, the Autobot vibe is real, right? Uh, alternate iron alloy. Nope. Um, let's rescan this one because that's just not something I'm interested in at all. Recycled rubber. 
and alternate charcoal. Definitely want to keep that one. Steamed copper sheets is good. I'm curious about the fused quartz. That's actually kind of cool. Pure Kachirium is a good one. Coke steel ingots. I, uh, what circuit boards require plastic, I think, right? Yeah. So that alternate is... Silica, so it's quartz instead of plastic. We have more access to quartz than we do plastic right now. That's 200 motors. I am really tempted to just brute force this. Although I don't think I have enough staters. No, I don't think I do. Pipe and wire. I think I've got wire over here. Slow tickets. Yeah, I'm really not sure what I'm doing about about that angle. I'd, I'd like to learn how to do it, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to sort it out on my own. Uh, also, that's a little bit low for in here, so we maybe have to go um, one block higher. Glad I checked that. from the middle to the middle. There has to be a way. So it's going to be thicker on the top. the closest we've come. Silicon circuit boards are awesome, Raven Trickster. Yeah, I think that's probably a, a good a good shout. It's a good way to do it. I would really like it to be nice and even down here, but I don't know how. I guess I have to do another... Another poke this way. So if that's too close, then we go maybe like... Tick that way. So that's too far the other way. It 
Don't think it makes a difference which beam you use. That's pretty darn close. And then I wonder if I can just take the beam and get on the center. if that's straight or not. That feels pretty straight. So if that's four meters... Do I want to do seven? Six, maybe? That looks pretty close. It does overlap, but it's not the end of the world. I didn't put it in the center. That would have been helpful. Where I went three meters, two meters. don't know if that's how I want to roll with it. It's, it's achieving, it's very close, but it's almost like so close it's a little frustrating. I guess the idea here would be to have this one be farther back. So that needs to go back farther. So we would have something in the middle here. And instead of four meters, we would try to do it in smaller increments, but I can't seem to do that. Unless I can freeze it and then nudge it.
I'd say that's pretty good. Not quite exactly what I want, but... And you can't nudge it vertically. Yeah, you can't... Can't nudge it vertically, so you'd have to have something else for it to snap to. These only... I can't remember what it is. Maybe it's a wall? No, it's still a meter. First, I guess that's one, two, three, four. Yeah, it's still four meter increments. Now with the face cam, at least we don't have to guess what your concentrating face looks like, though the lack of tongue sticking out is a disappointment. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. There was anything that was two glass stuff is six five four a little bit of Z fighting but it's not a lot That gets us back on square with the pillars or at the, with the foundations. see it from down below and then is this the that's the no it's over here so that probably won't be there is this too low for in here No, that's fine. Because I was thinking we could do this and then get up higher to here. And then use some of these triangles. not connect to where I thought it was going to connect. So that is not quite what I wanted. I think the issue is that I need the steeper walls. Or this shouldn't be overhanging at all. Right, 
right, so that could go to there. Or we could have a different one. And then somewhere this is going to connect. So then maybe down here we have a different. Where are we for height here? Right. So. I feel like that would make sense. Or here. And then this would be here. We could have a red ridge. there yeah I think I'm definitely gonna need my angled walls that's probably the next thing we need to get and those are like six I think five There's got to be a way to get tickets faster. We could probably hook up some overflow for some of these guys. These would be decent items, I would think. That's a Mark 1. What are they making these at? Oh, that's fine. This actually could have just stayed a Mark 1 then. How is it dark already? probably do the same for some other stuff that's probably full plates is full I feel like we're replenishing pipes yeah
So that'll help a little bit. That's yeah, done already. Could just throw in some stuff manually. I probably have some rotors I could put in. Although we need to make some more motors too. It's been an hour since your last break, since Sandy. Imagine that. <laughs> Time actually flying when you're playing this game. Who knew? That was a good guess. Did we make enough staters? Did we make any staters? How has this not been working? Oh. Darn it. All right, well, it is time for another break, and uh, I guess we've made a little bit of progress with... I, I feel like we're getting there with the shape of this. I mean, like, I'm trying to do some shape emulation. The vehicle mode is actually pretty cool in the top middle. You can sort of see what I might be going for with the front grille. I don't know if I'm going to be able to achieve it, but... Um, the hard part is going to be re like, is going to be doing that again. If I can ever figure that out. Yeah, I think we need the angled walls there. Uh, unfortunately, there's not a heck of a lot to look at in the factory right now from a decent vantage point. But everyone seemed to be okay with the summer sloop, so we'll. Uh, have a seat here and y'all can watch the skybox go by i do need to take another break uh i'll be right back give me about five or seven minutes uh stretch yourself too grab a drink grab a friend let them know that we're streaming we are, are always trying to grow the channel and i will be right back
That might be the thumbnail for the VOD. <laughs> a really cool shot. Right. I don't need this on me at all. There has to be a faster way to get tickets. Uh, four? I think it was five I needed. Yeah. All right, we'll get one more. What I should do, I can probably go over there. That bin is probably full. So we can just double check we've got the room in here. It's really not that far. I could put a really ugly temporary belt, but I, I just, I just don't want to. Yeah, that bin is full. You forget sometimes after you get higher up how fast you can move around. Things that feel far before are all of a sudden just a quick, quick drive away. Yeah, this should help. get to a new ticket soon. There it is. So that will give us some angle walls. Walls are one of humanity's greatest inventions. They definitely stand above floors. <laughs> Clever. Oh, out of gas. Sigh. So here is where we could use the walls. Right here. So technically it sort of looks like a roof. Uh, but then we can do the same thing up here. So if we wanted this part to be like a red accent, for example. Camera keeps freezing. Thanks, guys. I don't know what's going on. It's got something to do with OBS. Because the camera's not stopping. It's OBS that's stopping. Unless it's the cam link. Does anybody know if there's an issue with the cam link? Like there's a time limit or something. It's really annoying. But I appreciate the heads up. Right, so then we'd have to figure out how to continue this 
outward and have it look good. So I want there to be like an overlap there. Unless we just take this up higher. We don't have half walls, and it sucks. Really wish we had half walls. Puts OBS on the naughty step. Nice. We may not need these here if we're using these here. And this could be replaced with glass if we get glass roofs. Tricky part, of course, is figuring out how to connect these pieces. I wonder if I can get lucky and just have this be... Oh my gosh. That might work. Is that going to work? Maybe. looks about right so maybe since I've done one doing the rest of them should be easy we hope Yeah, that looks to be about the same. So I'm thinking the two middle ones will go farther, and this one will just stop here. And I'll take this one all the way down. And I think that this is where I might want to make this a little bit taller. That's just the wrong material. I feel like it's starting to have a shape. The good news is once we design half of it, we can completely um, just copy it. 
Oops. Uh, we've got. So the trick question here is, how do we get from there to there? That's the tricky part. And this is not going to be the right angle. That is just not going to work. Maybe we don't have to have it work. That uh, doesn't quite fit the way that I want it to. We're getting there. I, <laughs> I sort of wishing now that I could have made that lower, but I, I don't think I'm going to want to go and change what I've got there. And I don't know about this now, here on the end. I feel like this might be a little bit much. So I'm thinking we could use some more of the angles. Maybe this is where I can get in that shoulder pad design. Or like he's got these cool like shin pads too. I mean, my head might be kind of in the way of one of them. He's also got like the classic mohawk thing that he always has. So those are going to be windows. We don't really have any angled windows, but we can try to fudge it a little bit. Where do I want the wall to be? I think I want it to be back there. Could come down at an angle somehow. Maybe if I take it right from here. That connects okay in here. Sometimes I wish we had harsher angles. That's not terrible though. And if we make it chunky, that should be okay. What did I, oh, I put that one above. That's a little bit on the odd side. Um, hmm. 
We may have to figure out how to do a corner up there. There are corner roofs. Tilted corner. That's a roof. I want a tilted corner. Four meter. Okay. Oh, we ran out of pipes. That's easier to fix. Oh, that's better. Faster rate. Uh, I think I want to save up for the glass because we got some cool glass. I want to use those honeycomb frame windows, I think. Did I miss much? Joel beat the game twice and then declared the flowers in the color pink were the best thing ever. <laughs> well, well played, Cosmic. That's what I get for not reading, not reading chat. <laughs> Uh, I don't think I want those. I think I want to save up for the glass. I need two more tickets. We'll get there quite quickly. Um, I want a chunky front. And I think I need to go out farther. I really want a triangle that does like half of that, a much steeper angle. I can't think of any other way to do it other than using beams, which would be crazy tedious. Don't do half walls, so I gotta be careful here. It's not that I don't do them, I don't have them, they don't exist. That feels like a substantial foot, I think. The question is how do we handle the corner, right? Like that's the tricky, the real tricky part. They give you these angled corners, but they don't tell you how to actually... I'm on a belt. <laughs> um, they don't tell you how to actually cut them, right? Could be covered up, maybe. So that's a great way to go around a corner, but like, how do you get angled in there, right? I guess it would have to come up from here. goes in like that and then I set to figure out how to do the angle on this part this is gonna be a window but I need to see where the edge of this 
It's gonna be. Right, see, that's the problem. Is I've gotta figure out how to close that off. There is a way to do it. Um, I believe if I use a beam, and I go right from the corner to the other corner. If I use a half foundation, then I should now be able to put this. It's pretty darn close. Although, I guess I wasn't quite in the right spot there. And will that connect with that? Close, I could maybe could maybe fudge that a little bit. But outside I think we've got it. If I can not fall all the way to the ground. Feels a little bit odd. Yeah. Feels like it's not quite doing what I want it to. And as those stick out there, although those would be covered up here. And then what is in the way? not nearly as dramatic as I was hoping. Nope. Thanks so much for helping out today, Sandy. I really appreciate it. Have a fantastic evening. We'll see you later. Cheers. Wow. Through all those already. Last time, I think. Six for the walls. Is there any? Don't think there's any architecture things I need for this build. Customizer. Right. Sorry, we'll go with the walls. Fix it never recalls a product. Every awesome item is guaranteed to work for its entire lifetime. Enjoy your purchase. I 
entire lifetime. That's a long time. Now we've got some glass that we can put in. So these are cool. Silica. I don't know how much silica I've made. Let's make some more. So I like those, but I also really like the hexagon ones. It does remind me of some of the details. If you look closely at the grill of the car and in his abdomen in some of the images, they've got like the hexagon sort of pattern. Those look really sharp though. I wish the glass was clean. I wish that was a texture we could get. I do find that the glass is pretty dirty. And then the new windows are these ones as well. Actually, those are new as well. Yeah, that's not so much. I like... I might like these the best. Do we do two high, two high windows? Or do we do like a windowed um, ceiling with a bar in between? I think I could put the, these over on this side and then make it glow. I think this could be where these go. Right? and then have like a red sign behind them. We'd have to maybe tweak around with where they go visually, but we could make that work. Yeah, I think that could be cool. So get rid of those. I think we might get rid of that. And this might be a good spot to have some like additional Rome happening. For example, do we have, I don't think I have wall holes yet. Wall fixation, fixtures for pipes. No, I don't. Hmm. Maybe the solution here is not to have that, but instead to have one of the triangles. And we'll cap it. And then this could just be wider. I 
Yeah, if I move the position of that back a bit, then I think that would be better. Because that's a different angle. If I bump this right up into it, then that could be better. Again, we don't have half walls or half roofs. So tricky. Good news is you really can't see that Z fighting, so that's helpful. I don't know. That feels a little bit old school to me. I don't know if I like I like that. Um, I also am not liking the panels. Let me see. Three more tickets. Much better now. Those are two. So are the signs. I can get the signs and the pipe holes. Don't have enough for the glass roof yet. Don't care about those. At least not yet. I also have not thought about an entrance. There's no way in <laughs> to this place at all. Yeah, I say I go with uh, signs and these. So with the pipes, I should be able to add some decoration. Might mean a little bit of finagling here. Just to kind of get an idea. Oh, I don't have clean pipes yet. That's going to be a problem. we could try something like that. I don't really know if that's going to be what I would want. It starts to look a little bit more like a transformer. A little bit more. I 
It really has, the chrome really has like a Megatron vibe to it. There's definitely some transformer happening, that's for sure. And some of these we might be able to even um, bump out this way. For like a little depth. Trying to keep it fairly simple. Yeah, not liking that. I do have the lights now though, so we can come up here and add in these guys. Four meters? Yes. Or maybe three. Deeper red. Aussie is not the way. I think we have to go more with the red than the maroon. I think that's okay. I could do pink just in case. I could, but I won't. See, this would have been smart. You know, we didn't have signs unlocked when we built the blueprint. Right? And this would look so cool if we had orange glowing um, smelters, which we don't. I feel like we're missing some detail in here somehow. What else could we put in here? Feels like it wants like some sort of like greebling or some sort of frame. You can't encase the pillars anymore either. That's actually kind of cool looking. I 
think I might like that as like a top to everything. Yeah, that feels industrial and I like it, it highlights the smoke. And then we can take this down. Oh, that's supposed to stop, wasn't it? Hmm. I was thinking about moving that down the whole roof. I mean, it doesn't look bad. It's just a little strange. We did that, I think you just have to go a little bit higher on that. That's the only thing. Walls. Yeah, it's not as complex as I was hoping it was going to be. Looks like motor pistons. Yeah, I can see that. Out of pipes again. Can't keep this up. Uh, we've got 200 motors. Do we have stators now? 200 stators, 200 routers. Switch this to motors again. That should finish it up. about the encased beams, which I don't think I have. One, two, three, 436 out of 500. It's not the end of the world. How long does it take to actually craft those? Not long. So out of 500, we've got 450. And I might have more down here. No. We've built a few of these belts that may or may not need to be around. See, I feel like this just is a little bit too far forward. And if it was a half foundation back, 
it would like it would just line up. I don't know. We'd have a little corner there that I have to deal with. It's the only thing. That just feels really plain. Yeah, there's a couple of shapes that I'm just not reconciling. That's one of them. I do like this. It does it does feel like a barn. I think this this is a problem. I think maybe this has to go lower. Now it's even more like a barn. How did that not help? And we can't have that there. Do I have upside down triangles? I think I do. That sticks out outside, outside, so I can't do that. So this just becomes this weird corner inside that we can't do anything with. Unless we use beams, maybe? That's gonna look a little funky. I guess that's okay. We could kind of fake this inside. Does that show up outside? That looks better. Maybe not there. But I don't know that you'd see it unless you're looking right at it. Plus, that wall's going to be in farther, I think. I think I'm kind of stuck. I think I'm kind of stuck. I mean, we did some decent progress, though. I feel like I've got a handle on what I want to do here. It's just a matter of solving some design issues. 
and then we can move on. And one nice thing is that we have a lot of this automation stuff going. We've unlocked a lot in the sink. We've unlocked a lot of hard drives. And this was a huge win for today. The the summer sloop power converter, power, power augmenter, power augmenter. Um, that has helped us out a lot. It basically it didn't quite double, but it like took us from uh, it took us from 900 to 1540. So like can't complain at all. Um, that is where I need to wrap it up for the day, though, folks. I need to get going here, and uh, I will pass you on to somebody else playing satisfactory. Let's just see who's live. Who is around? Who is around? I'm sure. Total Eclipse is still going. It's only 9.25. I think he goes until 10.30. So I enjoy sending everybody over to... to uh, oh, is Cub Fan doing Satisfactory as well? You guys want to go to Cub Fan? I'll send you to Cub Fan. That sounds good. Yeah, we'll read Cup fan. Uh, I am going to be not streaming tomorrow afternoon. Uh, we will be covering Minecraft Live on uh, Pixel Rift's Twitch channel. So check that out there. That'll be at 2 o'clock Atlantic, 10 a.m. Pacific. For those that are in North America, we'll be covering Minecraft Live. Uh, I may stream after if I have the time. I don't know what my plans are yet. So, but um, right now, Saturday and Sunday, it does not look like I'm going to be streaming. It really depends on how things go this weekend. Uh, we will be uh, doing a bunch of stuff um, on the last few days of the month because there are the last few days of the promotion on Twitch where uh, subs are 25% off as well as... Um, the last bonus gift subs that are happening until October 1st. So uh, once again, thank you to everyone that supported today. I really, really appreciate it. Thanks to Cosmic and to uh, Sweet Sandy for the moderation. Sweet Sandy was here for the majority and Cosmic's been kind enough to, to pick up when Sandy had to go to bed. Uh, I will be uh, recording a new podcast on Monday for Spawn Chunks. We'll be talking about Minecraft Live. So if you can't join us live tomorrow, then you can hear about it on the Spawn Chunks on YouTube. Uh, it's a video podcast, uh, also available on your favorite podcasting app. Uh, but uh, Cubfan is a Minecraft player that is playing Satisfactory, and hopefully he's still enjoying it. Last time I checked, he was a little frustrated. So uh, we'll send you over there. Uh, make sure you, uh, you have a warm landing with Cubfan, and I will catch you all, hopefully, on the weekend. But uh, watch me on Twitter, at Joel Duggan, uh, or in the Discord, and that's where you'll get a notification when I go live. Unfortunately, this weekend is kind of up in the air, but uh, I'll see you soon. Thanks again. Bye for now.